Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am filming this intro actually the night I am putting this video together and hope hopefully uploading so you will see me like this again at the end of the video for my outro i realized i forgot to film an intro so i wanted to just put something at the front of this video so people weren't confused about what the heck was going on so basically i am following the lean and clean two week meal plan from high carb hannah i'll have everything linked below her youtube channel the Facebook group, and then also where you can purchase and download the Lean and Clean ebook. It's a great read, first of all. The whole first half of the book is um, just kind of weight loss tips, motivation, ton of nutrition and health information. It's a really great read. And then the last half is the two week meal plan. So I decided to do this because my weight has been fluctuating up and down three to four pounds for the past couple of weeks. And there's this number that I can just not get past and it's driving me crazy. So I figured I would try to do this meal plan. It is SOS free sugar, oil, salt. And I kind of had been thinking about salt there for a while that maybe it was having an effect on my weight loss. Um, I don't eat a lot of like table salt. I don't like douse my food in salt, but I do cook with a lot of like veggie broth and soy sauces and things like that. And I think salt also makes me crave junk food and it was kind of slowly creeping back into my diet. So I wanted to just clean everything up try a meal plan. I normally don't like meal plans, but you'll see through the videos that I'm actually enjoying the food and it's really delicious and easy to stick to. So I'm going to probably split this up into four videos today. I'm doing the first three days and then on Sunday I'll upload the second half of the first week and then we'll go into week two and do Wednesday and Sunday again and I will give you all weight loss updates along the way in case you're curious about trying the lean and clean plan and yeah so far it's going really good i'm only on day three or actually just completed day three and i i like it so far i feel really really good i feel better than i have in weeks so thumbs up for that i hope you guys enjoy these videos i hope they're helpful and i'll stop blabbing and let's get started and see some of the food so with the meal plan, you do get a shopping list for week one and week two, along with all the meals and recipes. The first thing I did was print off the shopping list and I scratched out everything that I wasn't planning on buying, like if it's something I didn't like. And then I also crossed off things that I already had on hand. I actually had a ton of this stuff already in my pantry, which was really cool. I only spent about $65 for groceries for the whole first week. And um, yeah, it was like shopping my own pantry of things that I kind of even forgot I had. So here's just my shopping haul, pretty much all organic produce. Those green beans are for my puppy dogs, by the way, but everything else is for the meal plan. All right, day one, meal one was super easy. I pretty much have this every single day for breakfast anyways, and it was blueberry oatmeal, and I also added a banana, and then I had about half of this probiotic drink left over, so I wanted to just go ahead and finish that off so it didn't go to waste, and that was breakfast for day one, super easy. Do you like my let it go post-it note? I have that sitting there on my desk at work to keep me sane. Yep. And then for meal two was just this really easy, um, I guess kind of taco salad. So it's just a ton of greens, brown rice, black beans, corn, and then half of a smashed up avocado. I did end up putting a little bit of black pepper on the top as well. This one was a little bland, but it was day one with no salt. So I kind of expected it. And I only ate about maybe a third of it. I couldn't finish it all. And then for dinner, I actually forgot to film it, but it was just oil-free potato fries. And so I just made them how I usually do, but I didn't add any salt. And I just ate them plain, and they were okay. 
and this is just us going on our little walk after work. Morning guys, happy Tuesday. I'm just getting ready for work and I'm gonna prep my food. Today is green smoothie bowl day. Are you coming back in? Puppies just ate, it's really rainy outside. Go shut the door. So today for breakfast, it's a green smoothie bowl since I have to since I have to take my breakfast to work, I'm just gonna make a regular smoothie. And then for lunch, I need to make the dressing for my veggies. And I'm gonna do that right now and then head off to work. Hope y'all are having a great day. So here is what I am taking to work for the first part of the day. I have my water, which I'll refill at lunch, my smoothie of course, and then I don't think that's going to keep me full till lunch. I'm not sure, so I'm going to take another banana and an apple. Then when I get home for lunch, I will show you um, what I put together. It's kind of like a sweet potato. Um, she uses quinoa. I don't eat quinoa because it really upsets my stomach. So I'm going to use brown rice instead. So it's going to be like sweet potato, brown rice mixed with some spices. And then I think I'm going to put mine over broccoli. And then I'll do my dressing when I get home. So I'm just leaving the date sitting out right there on the counter. So they'll be nice and soft and good to go when I get home. So I'm heading off to work and I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Here is how my lunch turned out. It was pretty good. So I used brown rice, two sweet potatoes that were steamed, I think the night before, and then just on a bed of greens. I used the Trader Joe's 21 Salute Seasoning because it is salt free. I could only eat about half of this. The sweet potatoes were very filling. And um, the sauce was one of the dressings that is in the recipe book. And it's pretty good. It's like a sweet mustard um, dressing. So yeah, it was pretty good. But like I said, could not finish it. These portion sizes are a lot bigger than what I'm used to. But it was still good nonetheless. Dinner for night two was this chili. And it again was pretty good. Um, I changed the recipe only slightly. I think I added a bell pepper and a few different seasonings and things like that. But I just made it in the Instant Pot and yeah, it was fine and I ate it over some rice. So it is the end of day two. It's like nine o'clock, I'm about to get ready for bed. And um, so far two days of the Lean and Clean plan, I feel pretty good, nothing has really changed. I'm just like not eating the 
processed junk food that I was slowly letting back into my diet. So it's been good. Um, the food is like slightly bland because there's no salt, but it's really not that bad. And um, my portions are actually a little bit smaller. It's like, I guess because the food is kind of bland, you just don't overeat on it because you kind of get bored with it. But um, my salad today for lunch, I only ate about half of it. By the time my dinner was done, it was like eight o'clock, which I hate eating that late. So I had like a smaller bowl and um, it was pretty good. I might just take that for leftovers for lunch tomorrow. I haven't even looked at the meals for tomorrow. I didn't do a good job these two days like meal prepping. So I need to do better with that um, for the rest of the week and for next week. But yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna weigh in the morning because um, I wanted it to be kind of like half and half, like the first half of the week for y'all, even though technically my weigh-in tomorrow will just be for the first two days, but that's okay. We'll see. And um, I normally don't even weigh myself that many times. Um, I usually do like twice a month, but since I'm doing this, I wanted to kind of be able to give y'all numbers and also kind of see my progress and see if it's helping at all. Um, but yeah, I feel really good. Um, I was very energized all day long. I didn't get that like mid-afternoon slump feeling. Um, so yeah, everything's going good and see you guys tomorrow um, for day three. Good night. All right, Wednesday, day three, I made these hash browns um, at home and then I packaged, packaged, I put them in this container to bring to work. Definitely should have made more. I forgot how much these actually shrink once you cook them. But I stayed full till my very, very, very late lunch break. And I also brought two bananas with me. I ended up eating one. And then for lunch, I had breakfast. So the lunch for today was supposed to be a Mediterranean salad. I didn't get my lunch break till 3 o'clock this day. Got backed up in some meetings. So I just ran home, made some oatmeal, and then headed back to work. But it's one of my favorites, and it kept me satisfied until dinner. Okay, so I am home from work, changed, and it is now seven o'clock, and I am about to put my dinner together and eat. I, let me show you. So I baked some potatoes, I pierced them with a fork, and I scrubbed them really well, and I put garlic powder and a little bit of pepper on the skins. And then I heated up some of my leftover chili that we made yesterday. So I just heated up a little bowl. I'm going to cut two or three potatoes in half and just pour the chili over it and then just top it with a little bit of green onion for a little bit of flavor and mainly I think it just makes it look pretty. <laughs> and it was in the recipe so that's what I'm going to do. And then... Whoop, after I eat, I'll kind of do a three-day update on um, how I'm feeling and how the three-day thing is going. And then I'm actually in the middle of editing this video and it will hopefully be up tonight. Um, it shouldn't take too long to edit because it's mainly me just showing food. And then tomorrow we'll start day four and then the next video will be up on Sunday with another weigh-in. So. I'll update y'all in just a little bit after I eat because I am getting really hungry. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So dinner is done. That was really good. I think my taste buds are adjusting because eating potatoes without salt is not that exciting but those were really good potatoes and then the chili even tastes better than it did last night but that just could be because it was left over and the flavors had time to meld together or whatever you want to call it but um yeah so that finishes up day one through three on the lean and clean plan i did weigh this morning and the scale showed a three pound weight loss so I at, least I at least lost my water weight or most of it. 
um, which is another thing. I don't think I mentioned it yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, I was super thirsty and I peed a lot, like so much. Today, it wasn't as bad. Um, I even had to wake up last night a couple times through the night and I guess it was just my body realizing that I'm not eating like added salt and so I think I was just de-bloating. I don't really know. Sorry if that's TMI but I just want to keep it real. So I'm down um, three pounds so I'm kind of at the weight where um, I haven't been able to get past for the past couple of weeks. My weight's been fluctuating up and down three to four pounds. So I'm at that that bottom weight that I haven't been able to break. So hopefully by Sunday, I lose another pound or two or a couple pounds. Not sure how it's gonna go. Um, but if I can break this one number, I will be so happy. And then we'll be moving on to week two. And I am finishing up editing this video that you're watching right now. And I realized I didn't do any kind of intro. So you'll probably see me like this at the beginning of the video too, because it kind of just cuts in right at my food on Monday. So I feel like I need to explain it a little bit. So I'm gonna film a little clip for the beginning and that does it for days one through three. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I think there will be about four total. And um, I'm running out of breath because I'm not used to talking this much. I'm a pretty quiet person, so I gotta get used to talking. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Even if you don't wanna try out like the specific lean and clean plan, I hope it's helpful and that y'all can learn a little something. And if you're on a weight loss journey, just know that you're not alone. We all are on that I was gonna say struggle bus, but let's not make it a struggle bus because we're getting off the struggle bus. I think being overweight and tired and sluggish and unhappy with ourselves and how we look is the struggle bus. So we are getting off the struggle bus and we are making our way towards who we wanna be and just a happier, healthier self. So let's, let's keep it positive. I think that's a good way to look at it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first half of week one, and I guess my next upload will probably be Sunday, so you'll see the next half of the week, and then I'll have my planner video up Monday, and then I'll have another, um, I guess the first part of week two on next Wednesday. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and you wanna stick around. It's gonna be a very positive, place so if you're looking for that you need you know just to know that you're not alone on a weight loss journey stick around and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys polly girl what's she doing editing buddy number one editing buddy number two